Texas A&M hosts Alabama this weekend as a four-point home dog. Right now we're joined with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com to get his free selections on the game. Troy, Texas A&M is very similar to Ole Miss in the way it approaches its offense. I mean, to the both of them are ranked first and second in the SEC in scoring offense, passing offense, and total offense. Now the Rebs beat Alabama back on September 19th. It was a great game. Texas A&M is going to be studying that film, figuring out how to create the turnovers they need to take this win. But, Troy, can the Aggies pull this thing off? Yeah, this is going to be a really tough game to handicap without a doubt because, like you said, Ole Miss, very, very similar to Texas A&M. Ole Miss was able to put up points at a premium against Alabama. Texas A&M being at home, having the 12th man factor, they've really overachieved so far this year, and they've had some pretty good quality wins at home. This is a really, really good Texas A&M football team. Was surprised to see them as a four-point dog. But how do you go against Nick Saban in these big road games? You look at what he did against Georgia, and then even coming back last week and getting the W against Arkansas. They did struggle for three quarters against Arkansas, but they still played Alabama football, got the win. I got to go with Alabama. I think this is going to be a very close football game. But in the end, Nick Saban, I think he's the better coach, not taking anything away from Coach Sumlin. But I'm going to go with the Crimson Tide to get it done, only because history will show you these small margin lines with Alabama, they seem to be a pretty good bet. All right, now, Troy, the total on this line here, it's at 52 for this game. Do you think that maybe the defenses will put up a bigger fight than the odds makers are thinking? We could take an underplay here? You know, potentially, but Texas A&M has been able to put up points at a premium, and Alabama's defense has been shaky. Sometimes they look outstanding like they did against Georgia, or they look like they did against Old Miss, where they can give up the long ball and give up some big plays. So, 52 in college football is a low number, to be honest, so I'm going to take a pass on that. College football analyst Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks, guys.